So right now, I'm gonna go make something to eat because I am starving. Yeah, I am my own water bottle. Good morning and welcome to another vlog. Today is Monday, August 28th, and um, just dropped my girls off at school. Right now, I'm gonna make breakfast uh, before I have clients this morning, and then I have my own lift. But I do have to say, today is the first time that since my girls started kindergarten that I'm home completely alone. Because last week with the girls being in school, Tara was still home during the morning, so I didn't really feel the whole like, I'm alone thing. And right now I have the house to myself and I really don't know how to act. Um, the whole empty nest thing is starting to hit for real. All right, so I'm gonna start getting my stuff ready so I can head to the gym, but I wanted to show you guys like my post-workout stack um, that I've been using recently and I absolutely love it. I feel great after my lifts. So I'm gonna show you guys what that consists of. So <clears throat> I always start with a scoop of the Formula One from First Form and this root beer flavor Oh my God, is to die for. If you are a root beer fan, trust me, you will love this stuff. It's straight up, like smells like a root beer float, like not even kidding. And the texture is super fluffy and really light. And it legit tastes like root beer. The only difference is it just doesn't have that fizz um, that regular root beer does, but it legit tastes like the real thing. So then I also put in about a quarter of a scoop of ignition. This is a post-workout formula to help with glycogen repair after an aggressive workout. And um, since it is a carb-based um, recovery, and I'm really, really limited on how many carbs I can have on a um, daily basis, I only use about a quarter of a scoop right now, but regardless, I always use it because it helps me recover so much faster than when I don't use it. So this is the ignition, and like I said, I only use a quarter of a scoop. And then I also use creatine. Now, this is something that I've realized I'm very, very sensitive to, <clears throat> especially females. We tend to have a little more water retention with this, or trial and error kind of thing. And I started, my coach started me with three grams per serving, and I realized that I bloated and had a lot of water retention. So I'm now down to only one gram, and I seem to be doing absolutely great. I don't notice any like side effects or water retention or anything with that. So... That's my post-workout stack. I have a scoop of Formula One, a quarter of a scoop of Ignition, and then a little bit of creatine. So I put that all into my shaker cup, throw this in my gym bag, and I'm ready to go. Super exciting news. As I was leaving the house to go to the gym today, I got a phone call from the company that was doing um, my clothing that everything was ready for pickup. So before I went to the gym, I stopped and picked up my clothing. I'm so excited. It turned out like way better than I was expecting. I can't wait to get it to my clients and everything, but I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. We got tank tops and no. we got t-shirts made. No, so this no. is the tank top. No, says no, underground no, fitness. No, Girls, stop. And on the back, it says exclusively at Brady's Run Fitness. I'm so excited and I have my shirt on right now. It fits so great. Oh, girls being girls. And then the t-shirt is exactly the same, just it's printed on a t-shirt, Underground Fitness, and on the back, exclusively at Brady's Run. So I'm super, super excited with how they turned out. The green color just pops off of the black, like it grabs your attention. I'm so, so excited with how they turned out and really excited to get them to my clients. And I'm super excited, I love how they turned out and just had to share that with you guys. All right, so I'm home from the gym, had it awesome lift but a lot of chaos was going on at the gym today because um, the owners are trying to get ready for opening so there was a lot of cleaning and drilling and all that kind of stuff going on in the background and I didn't really want um, to give you guys a grand tour with all that chaos but I was promised by the end of the week I will be able to take you guys through the building so hopefully maybe within the same video I will be able to get you a tour of Brady's Run Fitness but I had a lower body workout today, so I really focused on hamstrings and glutes, and I'm telling you right now that before the night is over, my butt is gonna hurt because it's tender already. <laughs> um, so great workout, and then afterwards um, I did posing. So I probably practiced posing for honestly about 20 minutes. So um, I did a lot just 
you know, doing the movement, seeing how it felt, and I videoed a lot of it. That way I could personally see myself and critique and know what I needed to change and tweak and everything. So this is the first time that I've posed on my own without my coach. So this is just a learning process. And I know the more and more I do it, the more comfortable I'm going to be. Um, so I see a few areas that I need to work on. So that is on my to-do list, but I feel like it went great overall for it being my first like posing practice on my own. Um, but on my way home, I decided that I was going to stop at my local grocery store because everybody has these brand new Halo Top ice cream flavors and I'm dying to try them. I really, really want to try candy bar. Um, so I went to my store and alas, they have the new flavors, but the only one they weren't sold out of was pancakes and waffles. Now, I'm not going to lie. This is one of the flavors I was not really that interested in because to me, just eating a pancake and ice cream form doesn't sound all that appetizing, but I'm like, you know what? For research sake, we're gonna try it. So um, I just bought this. We're gonna open it up and you guys can get the first take of my, my opinion. All right, spoon, ice cream. There's hunks of something in that. Is it supposed to be hunks of waffle? Mmm. Right away, I can taste the maple flavor. It's not bad. It's actually super, super good. It kind of reminds me of like maple candy. All right. I gotta say, for an ice cream that I had absolutely no desire to even try, this is honestly kind of winning in my book. This is pretty yummy. I don't really get a pancakey flavor. All I taste is like the maple. And there's hunks, because you know, if, if you ever eat Halo Top, you know there's like hunks of candy or something in all the ice cream. And there's definitely flex of something, and I'm pretty sure that it's pieces of waffle. And so, yeah, quite honestly, I give pancakes and waffles from Halo Top ice cream two thumbs up. Who would have guessed? Welcome back guys. I am here with a client and I'm going to show you some of her workout today. So everybody say hello to Alicia. Hi. Are you excited for your workout? I will let you know in an hour. Do you enjoy working out with me? I do. I've been here back, for like so. over a year. You have. Mm -hmm. And she keeps coming back so she must enjoy the torture. I get the anxious right beforehand but then feel really good afterwards feeling right about now. <laughs> <laughs> and then for the next three days you can't feel your butt cheeks. No, they're gone. They're out there somewhere. <laughs> So we're going to give you an inside look of her workout today and get used to this face because you're going to see it a lot on this channel. So uh, let's get started. Let's, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Happy Friday, guys. I am here at Brady's Run Fitness, and um, I have a class that I'm teaching tonight, but I wanted to take you guys on a grand tour of the building. So, let's go.
Okay guys, so I'm going to conclude the vlog for this week here. I know there's not that much content in it, but I promise that I will get better at putting these things together. Um, I'm still working at this, so I'm learning, so bear with me. Um, but I have a lot going on next week, so I'm going to take you guys along with me and hopefully give you a really, really detailed inside look as to what I'm doing throughout this prep. I'm gonna give you a full physique update, show you what I look like, and kind of take you through my trainings, um, how I eat, and all that kind of stuff. So be prepared because all that will be coming to you in next week's vlog. Plus I will have another sit down informational video coming to you as well next week. So be on the lookout for those. So thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you have any kind of questions for me or if there's something specific you would like me to discuss or go over in my videos, please also leave that in a comment down below. But that's all I have for you right now. Please have a great Labor Day weekend and I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.